Sometimes you are doing everything right and still get hit hard by random. This is the story of my cup final in Ethiopia. <sighs> hey guys, it's Uncle Mish. And this story won't be easy to tell because unfortunately for me, it has a sad ending. Seven weeks ago, two new countries joined Hattrick, Congo and Ethiopia. And I joined with my third team, Sneaky Cat, to Ethiopia and I wanted to be competitive from the get-go, to go and compete for all the trophies, the league title and especially the cup because the cup holder will go and represent Ethiopia in the Hattrick Masters which is pretty cool and to be the first cup holder could be a very nice thing to have. So to be competitive from the beginning I uh, try to maximize my chances and unfortunately, even though I did everything right and I got to the final, I had a very random result there and it ended with my team losing. And before I'll go and show you the, the match result and the chance distribution and the replays and the ratings for both me and my opponent, let me uh, tell you about my journey there, what I did in those seven weeks to maximize my chances and maybe this will help everyone that are striving to be competitive, to join a new country and what we, could you do to increase your chances uh, at, at this point. So, uh, speaking about uh, training and speaking about making your team much stronger from the beginning, Everyone started with equal conditions because everyone in a new country, you have the same players pretty much and the same amount of uh, cash and that's it, that's it. The blank, uh, the page is open, everyone could do whatever they want. 84 managers from all Hattrick joined with their second or third team to Ethiopia and we also had one local managers, everyone got their team in the second or third division and the competition started. So uh, thinking about training, I really wanted to focus on veteran players because using them would allow me to have higher uh, like ratings, but the biggest issue for them is their low stamina. So I wanted to train with high stamina share and what could you do to earn money with high stamina share? I decided to go for a goalkeeping skill trade. This means if you don't know what skill trading is, check my skill trade video, but basically I'm buying players that are very close to getting to their, to increasing their level. So even though I'm not, uh, optimally training them, they are so close to getting to their next goalkeeping level. So despite all this, they will uh, get the higher skill and I could sell them for more money. So I decided to train 34 stamina share, which is pretty high. I, I most of the time um, recommend this for teams playing in the top divisions in their countries. Maybe for a starting veteran team, I could have gone, gotten even higher, but still I had nice stamina share for my uh, players. And that's what I did. Goalkeeping, uh, skill trading, and I managed to train four or uh, maybe five or six goalkeepers uh, to, to earn more money in this period of time. Maybe even more, I, I'll have to check it. Uh, I had a lot of transfers. You could see here, 38 transfers for, uh, for all my... Uh, for for the seven season uh, seven weeks period, and uh, what else could I say? I, I I could show you the matches. Basically, we are all starting with formation experience and only the four four two formation. So choosing the right formations is a very big decision for the for a short duration of the cup run. So starting with the four four two. Uh, formation, I thought to myself that it could be a good decision to have two formation experiments. experience. If I already have the 442, I could keep it for balanced uh, or defensive formation and obviously the Norwegian 253 because you are having very high midfield and attack and that should help you bulldozer and win a lot of the matches. At the first match, it was a cup first round against a bot team, a very easy one. I played the Norwegian formation to get some more, uh, ex to get experience in this formation and I uh, won 
8-0, nothing really interesting there. I was training players, I started to buy a few veteran players, and then I had my first league match. My first league match was against a very experienced Polish manager who is also the under-20 of the under-20 Maldives coach, and he had a team in the Maldives in the past, he won a couple of uh, cups there, so I knew he's a good manager, he bought a few players for his team, unfortunately for me, I was playing an away match. So, uh, he played the Norwegian formation as well in his first uh, cup, and I thought to myself, if he'll uh, play Norwegian here, he could suffer formation loss in the match, I could use this to win uh, the, the battle, and the ratings were pretty close, I was pretty close on uh, midfield, I had 5.25, he had 6.25, I had better defense, I had two stronger attacking sides, unfortunately for me, uh, I lost the match, unfortunately it was 4-2, but it's quite a reasonable result, result no complaints there. Then I played my second uh, cup match against, against a bot team, again I could afford myself to play the Norwegian formation, to have enough uh, f uh, experience in the formation that I will not suffer formation loss, unfortunately my previous uh, opponent didn't suffer from this in our league match, uh, he was pretty lucky there. Uh, I Again I lost big time and then I had my second uh, league match, my second league match the random started, I lost this match 3-4, but I had better midfield, better defense, and much better offense. So looking at those ratings, I would really think I should win this match. And no, I lost it. And also the chance distribution is the game. In the game, I got only three opportunities while my opponent got seven. More than twice than me. And again, I'm winning midfield. I have better defense attack ratio. I'm actually blocking his defense on all the sides. And he was very lucky to win this match, so I lost yet another match in the league. Then in my next uh, cup match, I had a competitive one against a team called the Ducks of Ethiopia, and here I uh, decided to play the Norwegian formation to win midfield, to have better attack, and it succeeded. I had 7.5 uh, midfield against 6.5, I had better attack, uh, he already, uh, he only beaten me in the center uh, at attack of his, but uh, eventually with the midfield advantage and everything, I won the match and proceeded to the next round in the cup. Again, in the league, um, I had uh, a reasonable result. This time I was playing away. I knew that I wanted to play pick. I'm always playing pick in the leagues to preserve as much team spirit as possible for the cup matches and I already started with two losses so I had nothing to lose as well, I already had a lot of bad luck in the league and I played the 4-4-2 formation, I had very strong defense, I was losing midfield big time, my attack didn't worth a lot in this game and I managed to sneak a draw here, nothing really special about this game, um, I didn't suffer a big defeat, I played pick, I had enough team spirit for my next uh, league uh, cup match and it was pretty interesting because in my next cup match I were to play against the uh, league leader and two consecutive games I was playing in the cup and I was playing against the same opponent in the league in the cup I played uh, again the Norwegian formation the 2-5-3 formation and this time I managed to win midfield even bigger 7.5 to 5.75, again I had better at defense in the sides, uh, I had an okay attack, uh, an okay defense in the center, but he uh, won it, but I had better attack than him, so I won the game 3-0 to progress to the next round, and I progressed to the quarter final from there, then I was playing against the same opponent in the league, I was playing at home, I had better ratings, and again bad luck struck, uh, our midfield was pretty equal in this game, uh, throughout the most of the match I had slightly better midfield, but although we had the same midfield, I had much higher defense attack ratios. You could see here, my block was around 80% in the, in the defense, and I had about 50% uh, to score in the attack, and again, an unfortunate loss in this game. Chance distribution gave him 6 opportunities, I got only 3, he got 
twice as much than me when uh, we had the same midfield. And I lost this game. Again, I was playing pick. I was preserving some strength to the uh, quarterfinal. But bad luck. Another loss in, uh, in the league for Sneaky Cat. And then I had my quarterfinal. Again, in the quarterfinal, I decided to play the 4-4-2 formation because I thought it will give me better midfield and better defense attack ratios. Uh, I had a small mistake because I did want to switch from the 4-4-2 formation to the Norwegian formation in case that I was losing. But I wanted this to happen only in the 65th minute. I needed two substitutions to go from 4-4-2 to 2-5-3. To, uh, and I did one in the 65th minute, but I made a mistake and I uh, did the other substitution without a time limit. Um, this means that when he scored the first goal and you could check the ratings at minute zero, I had much better uh, defend, midfield, 67% possession. And he had very... Uh, uh, low like low chances to score he scored the first goal from the right wing it he had six percent to score there unfortunately for me this triggered only one uh, substitution of my two which ended up with me getting formation uh, disorder and it lowered my rating despite all this i still had much higher mid uh, ratings in the in the in the match and I won this, both the midfield and the defense attack ratio. And I won the game to progress to the semi-final. Then in the league, I had a pretty easy victory against an uncompetitive team. So again, a pick, again, a better uh, confidence. And here I gotten to the semi-final. And I was to play against a very strong Italian manager. Even then... I already started looking at the other semi-final, the other managers to see if they are getting stronger. And I saw that in the other semi-final there were uh, to play two teams, one German manager and one uh, the Polish manager that I was playing against in the first round of the league. And that they were both uh, very heavy mid-focused teams. And my opponent in the semi-final, the Italian manager, um, he was more more balanced and I thought I could uh, win against him. I bought a couple of uh, players just to straighten my teams, to straighten my uh, s uh, defense also. And at the last moment, he bought a few players. I did all the calculation and I uh, figured out that even if he'll play a very strong formation against me, even if he'll play modes against me, I should still at least be equal in the midfield and win the defense attack ratios. So I didn't want to spend moats in the semi-final and then maybe to lower my training intensity. I was really looking to save all the energy to the final and to manage to win it this way. And in the semi-final, I had better midfield and better defense attack ratio by a lot even at minute uh, in the fifth minute we had the same midfield but i had better defense attack ratio so i won the game 3-0 and i advanced into the final the game uh, before the final in the league i uh, i was playing an away match and i wanted to play a more defensive one again i had similar midfield as my opponent much stronger defense not as high attack as I would like to, but I was really saving uh, all the important players. I didn't want them to get injured. And again, a, a bit an unfortunate result for me because I had the same midfield, higher defense, a good attack, much better attack than my opponent. The defense, the this chance distribution gave him slightly more opportunities and he even managed to score very unreasonable goals to win against me. It doesn't matter. I reached to the final, I had almost maximum team spirit and I was to play against the same opponent that I was to play in the first round of my league match, the Polish manager. And the Polish manager in his semi-final, he had an easy walkover against the German team because the German team, they won the quarterfinal and they were playing against the same team that they won the quarterfinal in their league match and the other team just 
went mayhem on him, uh, very strong ratings, he ruined his uh, confidence, he had like three players injured and he didn't buy anyone. So he played a very weak formation against the Polish manager who managed to secure a very nice 7-1 victory in the semi-final. And I knew that I were to play against him. I knew he's playing only the Norwegian formation. I knew that he's probably playing normals here. So if he has about nine uh, midfield with a Mots, if he won't buy anyone, he'll reach maybe 11 midfield. So I wanted to focus on that. I always were playing uh, more uh, standard formation, more balanced formation. And this time I decided to take midfield big time and uh, to win with the Norwegian formation. And here we are coming to the big final and it was hard. If you were watching my Twitch stream this day, it was a real roller coaster, and that's basically the final. Uh, let me let me just get into it and and show you. It it ended with a loss, so a very sad ending. But the ratings overall and everything overall. So I'll show you my calculation. I was looking if he were to buy any players during the week uh, until the final before the semi final. He didn't buy anyone. I was wondering, maybe he doesn't have enough money, uh, what is his strategy, uh, will he just play modes and that would be it, that's his only ace up his sleeve. I went to the transfer market, I bought uh, another uh, technical defensive forward and I wanted to play ag against him a Norwegian against Norwegian, but I knew that if I'll get better midfield, I will win the game, or at least I should win the game. Uh, right after the um, the training that he ha that both we had after the semi final, I switched to a temporary coach, a, co a a very bad weak coach, but with solid leadership, just to preserve as much team spirit as possible. He copied me, and a couple hours after I did this trick, he did the same one. So I knew that he was a very experienced manager. He was preparing against me, and. I bought enough players and I thought to myself, I am going all in. The Norwegian formation that I chose to play was with a, a, a with the inner midfielder as a, an offensive center defender. My other defender was a man marker that needed to lower my opponent's midfield ratings. I played with wingers towards the middle. I played with a free defensive forwards, everyone had a lot of experience. I also, because I knew that I will have no defense in this game, I didn't want defense in this game, I only wanted higher midfield and very strong attack. And very important thing about uh, the Cups is uh, having the nerve event in, in your favor. So a nerve event, basically, if your team has an overall higher team experience, all the experience, the average experience of your players is higher than the other team, in case that we have a similar result or you are losing slightly, approximately from the 65th, 70th minute, uh, the team that has the lower team experience and they are winning or not losing the game, they could suffer, suffer a nerve event, which will decrease their ratings even further. So I played in the goalkeeping position with a defender that just have a lot of experience and some set pieces, because if my opponent would have, uh, would get a, a penalty kick or a free kick, he could block it. And my overall experience could win. I'm playing the Norwegian formation, so I would probably lose my defense uh, uh, ratings. Either way, I don't care about this, so I decided to play even without a goalkeeper. And the rating for the beginning of the game was amazing for me. So when I saw those ratings, I knew I did the right preparation. My midfield was 14 against his 11. So I knew that he'll play with this formation, he'll play mods, he'll pop his midfield to 11, and I needed to beat this. I beat this by a mile. I had 67% possession. Also, I man-marked his 
inner midfielder. He has a technical defensive forward. It was possible for me to man mark this player. Uh, he has the higher stars in this team, but I don't care about this because it would slightly decrease his midfield and more decrease his attack ratings. I don't want to decrease his attack ratings because I'm only focusing on midfield and I will not block his attack either way. So I man marked his uh, inner midfielder. He had two uh, head speciality and one unpredictable. It's uh, not worth to man mark unpredictable um, players. So I man marked his inner midfielder. And bam, I increased my defense, uh, my midfield control even further. You could see it here. I increased it by five more percent. So at minute five, I had 72% possession. And the game even started really well. I scored twice and it felt, it, it, it felt like that my plan is coming into fruition. He scored one goal. I scored again. And uh, it was all going very well until he got two more opportunities in the, in the first half and he equalized. And the first half ended 3-3. Free -free. It started to feel a bit bad because he started to get more opportunities than me. In the first half he had four opportunities while I had only three. And again, we shouldn't get the same amount of opportunities. He shouldn't get more opportunities than me. I am winning midfield by 72%. And even though at, uh, towards the end of the first half, uh, his stamina was slightly better, even then I had 70% possession in the first half. So I should get more chances than him. The second half started, I scored a goal. It felt really good. And my ratings were overall better and the end of the game was devastating. He started to score again and again and again. He won this game 6-3, 6-4. But the goals that he had, like, like check it, he, he even got a nerve event in the 82nd minute, if I'm not mistaken, it decreased his ratings even further, he got the nerve event because I have higher uh, overall team experience and he was in the lead. Looking, uh, it's still a bit frustrating to look at this because even if we look at the chance distribution and I'm not showing the replays even, the chance distribution, I had four opportunities in the game and I scored all my opportunities. He had eight opportunities in the game and two of them were special events. Usually, uh, there are special events that are influenced by midfield control and there are others that are not influenced by uh, uh, by midfield control. He had one that is and one that isn't, but he also got six normal chances. I got four normal chances, he got six normal chances. I'm winning midfield by 72% in this game. 70%, let's say, overall. So if we had 10 chances, I should get seven, he should get free. My attack had 82% to score from the left side, 82% to score from the right side and 65% to score from the center. Yeah, if he'll get an attack, he'll have 90% chance to score. That was my plan. He should not have gotten enough chances in the game. Unfortunately, the match engine decided to give him six normal chances and two special events and I got only four chances. He got twice as much opportunities than me while I was winning midfield 70%. After the game uh, was over, it felt... Uh, you feel this emptiness when you, you know that you are doing everything right and still you are getting screwed. So I paid the five credits just to, re to, to check what was the replays. Was my plan correct or did I did, do a mistake? And the replays showed that out of 100 games in the cup final, I should have won 84. On average, I should have scored 5.6 goal in the game and I should concede 3.1. He scored twice as many chances that he should have gotten on average and I scored less. 84 victories in the replays. This really felt bad. 
<laughs> nothing else to say, guys. This is random in his finest. Unfortunately for me, it happened in the cup final. I had a few random results in the league, as you saw. I lost three matches. Uh, two of them I should have won completely. One of them I had better chances. And it's, it's the league. It's not the same thing. Maybe in the league, if you have one or two bad results, you could overcome it. I had more. Maybe I won't overcome it this season. But in the cup, there is no do-overs. In the cup, you either, either win or you lose. In the cup, you either leave the trophy on you want. And I didn't manage to win the trophy. Sneaky Cat, uh, the, the name of Sneaky Cat will not be written as the first cup holder of, of Ethiopia in the first season. Unfortunately for me. But at least I know that I did everything right. I maximized my chances. And 84 times out of 100, this trophy should be mine. So this helps. And a lot of people are really ranting about random in the forums calling this the RN Jesus or saying you got random result and yeah I got random result it feel it, it feels really bad I, I I won't lie about this you feel this uh, feeling in your stomach that damn this should be mine uh, but that's that's probability guys and if I'll say I should win this game all the time I would be wrong I was very unlucky to lose this game, but it doesn't mean that I should win this all the time. 16 games out of 100, my opponent should win. He was very lucky to get this 16 out of 100%. I had 84, he had 600, 16. I, I am six times uh, more probable that I will win and not him. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. But this is my story of the first season in the Ethiopian Cup and my unfortunate random result that struck me in the Cup Final. But that's my road. I'm not going anywhere. I'm sticking uh, with the game and I will continue. This result will not break me, but I just really wanted to share with you guys my uh, journey, how it feels that random is is just part of the game. I'm not happy about this, but at least I know I did everything right. And I would love to hear your opinion. I'm always saying this, but what's your biggest upset? Like what's your result that you know you did everything right and you got randomed? So when random hit you the hardest, please, Share it in your comments. I would gladly read it. And as always, just remember, Hattrick, it's more than a game. It's a community. And I'll definitely see you around on my next videos.